I recently did something I rarely do. I purchased a piece of software. My daily driver laptop is Linux, so I'm pretty used to using free and open source software. Any apps I use on my iPhone are apps that can be used for free, such as Spotify, Pandora, and Perplexity. Until a couple of days ago, that is. So I enjoy messing around with open source large language models using free software like LM Studio and Jan.ai, which allow me to run the LLMs locally on both my Linux laptop and my MacBook Air. With Apple Intelligence still not really ready for prime time, I wondered if there were any apps that would allow me to run an LLM locally on my iPhone. Now, I already can use things like uh, Claude and, you know, stuff like that, but I wanted something that would run locally. I discovered Private LLM that does allow me to run a pretty good curated selection of smaller LLMs on my iPhone 13 Pro, so not even a super fancy iPhone model. The iPhone 13 Pro has the A15 chipset and 6 gigs of RAM. The amount of RAM seems to be the most critical element here. There are a few similar apps for Android devices too, such as Olama and Pico LLM. I did read up a bit on private LLM and it sounded like it worked as advertised and was well supported. That was important as I was about to spend a whole $10 on this adventure. It installs from the App Store with no special setup. It is a larger download of a couple of gigabytes, but it comes with a small LLM already bundled and ready to use. The LLM runs locally, as I said, and does not have internet access and does not phone home with any of your data either, much like the promised Apple intelligence. There is a good selection of smaller LLM models to choose from in the app, and I settled for the Llama 3.2 Instruct 3B 4-bit Omniquant version. That's a mouthful. Which weighed in at 1.67 gigabytes. Other available models currently include several versions of Tiny Llama, Phi 2, Stable LM, Llama 2, Mistral, Gemma, and more. The curated LLMs are pretty substantially quantized. My understanding is essentially that means they're heavily compressed to accommodate the iPhone hardware, but run surprisingly well. None of the available models I saw in the app appear to have multimodal capabilities, and of course there's no special integration with the phone device, something that will supposedly be a feature of Apple intelligence. But for a $10 purchase, I'm pretty darn happy, I have to say. It gives me another convenient way to experiment with various open source large language models without giving up any of my privacy. Hey, thank you for watching. I have links below if you're interested, and I appreciate your time. Take care. Bye-bye.